The sum function is the most common function you'll use in Excel. I'm going to click on B9 and delete what I have in B9 and use the Auto Sum button to sum the yellow cells. And when I press Enter, I end up with the answer 100. But besides the sum function, there are many functions that come with Excel. For example, in B10, I'd like to average the four yellow cells. So I'm sitting in the cell B10, and in my Home tab in the ribbon, I'm going to the Auto Sum button, but I'm not clicking on the button, I'm clicking on the triangle to the right of the button. When I click the triangle, I get access to other functions, and the one I'm after is Average, so I click Average. Excel wiggles around what it thinks I want to average, which is incorrect, so I ignore the wiggle, and I highlight the four yellow cells. This is going to give me the average of B4 to B7, and I press Enter. The answer is 25. In B11, I'd like to find the largest value in the four yellow cells, and so we use a function called max. Click in B11, hit the down triangle on the Auto Sum button, and choose the function max. Again, Excel wiggles around what it thinks I want to find the maximum of, but that's incorrect. So I ignore the wiggle and I highlight the four yellow cells. When I press Enter, I can see the maximum value in B4 to B7 is 40. In B12, I'd like to show the minimum, or the smallest value, in the four yellow cells. So while I'm clicked on B12, I hit the down triangle on the auto sum, and I ask for the function min by clicking min. Where Excel is wiggling is incorrect, so I highlight the four yellow cells. And when I press Enter, the minimum or smallest value in that range is 10. And lastly, in B13, I click. Then I hit the down triangle on the Auto Sum button, and I want to use the last function, Count Numbers. The Count Numbers option gives me the Count function. Again, it's wiggling around the wrong area, so I ignore the wiggle and I highlight B4 to B7. The count function will count how many numbers are in the range B4 to B7, and when I press Enter, there are four numbers in that range. If any of these values should change or become deleted, these formulas will automatically recalculate. So for example, I'm going to click on B4, and I'm going to press the Delete key. The functions now tell me the sum of the selected cells, the four cells, is 90. The average is now 30, which is 90 divided by 3. The largest value is still 40, but we have a new minimum of 20, or smallest value. And the total number of numbers in the range B4 to B7 is three numbers. If I want to audit and check these values, I would actually highlight the four yellow cells. And then if I look at the bottom of my screen on the status bar, I can see that the average of the selected cells is 30, that's correct, the number of numbers is 3, the minimum is 20, the maximum is 40, and the sum is 90. This is a good way of auditing and checking that your functions are giving you the same results as the status bar. If I put the 10 back into B4, the functions automatically recalculate, if I highlight the four yellow cells and look at my status bar, I can also see that the results have changed on my status bar, and these should balance with what appears in the green cells.